What's happening everybody? This is Aaron with Oklahoma Fishing and Adventure and today I'm bringing you a new vlog and we got some big changes coming to the channel. Stay tuned, let's find out what they are. Alright guys, so here I am, I got the boat. You can see my driveway, got it nice and full. But here in the boat, we got something new here. Which I know, it's kind of weird. Something new underneath the boat. Well, if you look behind me here, got two nice little kayaks. Yeah, I stored them in the boat. Why not? Works out better that way. Make sure that I don't get water in the boat and everything just seemed to be pretty good. However, as you can see, I got the boat. I got my wife's Santa Fe. I got my daughter's Versa. The Suburban, you can't even see it's way back over there. As you can see, my driveway is full. Oh yeah, also the Elko which may be going away soon, which is kind of sad, but different story. Uh, so yeah, I haven't made a whole lot of videos here recently just because there was a lot of changes happening. As you can see, every time I need to take this boat out, it's a hassle. I got, you know, got to move these two vehicles, get it backed up, get everything loaded in the boat uh, because it is stored outside. I don't keep anything in it. So kind of a pain. Every time I go out, it's a 45 minute ordeal to get the boat ready. And then whenever I bring it back home, it's a 45 minute deal to get it disconnected. So kind of sucks. Well, today that's all going to change because today I'm finding a new place to park this boat. You ready to see where it is? Ah, you're going to have to wait a minute. Now, as you guys know, Suburban, it's a good old truck, but it's old. It's 1996. Thing's got 180,000 miles. Been an awesome tow vehicle for me, but it's finally starting to show its age. So, that being said, that led to part of what's going on on the changes that I have to make. Clearing up my driveway, and also babying this guy a little more because I love this truck and I don't want anything to happen to it. However, it's showing its age. So I'm having to take care of it and take it easy. So I uh, got to check all the fluids, get ready, and I'm going to hook the boat up and I'll catch up with you guys in just a minute. We are here, home sweet home. We're dropping the boat off here at Skytook, and we're going to be keeping it here at Crystal Bay Marina. And so we're getting ready to back this guy off, and let's go find our home. All right, guys. So we are out here. We're finding our home. Man, I'm excited. This is going to offer us the freedom that. I mean, when we want to just come out to the lake, it doesn't matter what vehicle we're in. We can hop in my daughter's Versa if we wanted to and and come up here and fish, go swim, have a good time. And these guys here at Crystal Bay, uh, it, it took me a couple weeks. I kept missing the lady uh, who runs the front office. And so that's what we weren't sure what was going on. Uh, I think there were three slips whenever I finally got everything set up. So. We didn't have a whole lot of extra time, but with the winter weather coming in, and then of course today, you know, it's it's beautiful. Uh, 40 degrees, supposed to have some rain coming in, but I wanted to get the boat out here anyway, so that whenever it does start getting nicer, I mean, we can just hop out here and go. Uh, they also allow uh, parking of the trailer. 
And so we're putting our trailer here as well so that if I do decide that I want to go, you know, fish another lake, all I got to do is let them know. They'll come bring it to me and then we can go haul this thing to wherever we want. But with the Suburban showing its age. Now, I did pick the Suburban out uh, whenever I bought it. It's the model and everything that I wanted because I did want the 350 in it. And the, the truck's only got 180,000 miles on it, but it's a 1996 model and it's stock motor, stock transmission. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. I uh, don't know if I'm gonna rebuild it, get it good to go again, or if I'm gonna be looking for something else. But for now, this bought us some time this freed up a lot of time just because we can just go whenever we want uh we did get this is an 18 foot boat we got the 10 by 20 slip so we'll get a little bit of moisture in it i'm sure but uh it's gonna be awesome so anyway guys i'm gonna find the way to the slip we're gonna get everything set up and then i will show you once we get everything all tied up and good to go catch you in a minute All right, guys, boat made it home, all tied up, ready to go. Did forget to put the seat down though. <laughs> Don't want to do that. There we go. Seat's down, it's all tied up. Electrical cords plugged in. Should be ready to go. Say, say bye. <laughs> now it's time to go ditch the trailer. Have it put up there. And we also got to go drop our insurance papers around. But other than that, we're good to go. Now we can get warm. It's good to go. Boat's down there. Good to go. And we're getting out of here. Thanks for watching, guys.